nice calming corner. It's really nice outside. It's been raining most of the day. I've got this little bitter batter going on. It's probably too soft for you to hear. Though I do have a long video of a rainstorm that I recorded last year, so make sure to check that out if you like natural, soft sounds like that. Anyway, today I wanted to share with you my Easter decorations. Just a little fun show and tell. <laughs> this is, I guess, not much of a decoration as much as it is an accessory. Um, this is a little headband that I actually made. And um, I'll link to the tutorial to my crafting channel. So it's fun and it has bendable ears. Isn't that cute? I think it's cute. So that's kind of fun. It's made out of felt. And not too expensive to make. And if you're not super crafty, it's still not too hard. So these are little baskets. To be honest, I don't know when I got them or where. I've probably had them for a couple of decades. For all I know, they could have been a dollar store find. But they came painted and they're these cute little kind of looking like bags playing on the back side. It's got the little twine. And then I filled them up with some Easter grass. snorting in the background. She's always here and she's always a little bored. She doesn't seem to appreciate ASMR.
this is the first of several cute little Easter bunny babies. <laughs> Sorry, the camera is shaking. Again, it's my dog. She's a cutie. I actually painted these in high school. I loved ceramics. And each of these is a different color and a different style. You can see he's, he's got his little bum hanging out. <laughs> um, and there you go. I painted them in 2000. And uh, this is three. I don't remember how many there are. But let's go ahead and find out the other ones. Isn't he cute? I would love to hear in the comments once we unwrap them all. Which is your favorite? space for all of them while we unwrap, but we'll see. also got her little bum. I tell ya, these, these weren't made very well if they're peeking out. <laughs> I, I'm quite proud of the level of detail I did. Sorry, my camera is struggling to focus a little bit. It doesn't know what to focus on. Here we go. Took little tiny paintbrushes. Do the eyelashes and everything. She is number six. I will say that these have been around, obviously, for 19 years. And I'm really happy that the sealant that we sprayed on them did not yellow. That would have just made me so sad with all the effort I put in. So, we'll see how many more years they hang around with me. Here, 
this little guy was a friend who was kind of sandwiched between bags. Doing the splits. He's a little cutie there. Looks like he's got a little, little blemish I need to, that probably would wash off. Though the yellowing back here, that kind of makes me sad. But honestly, I mean, it's been almost two decades. It could be worse. He is number two. Sorry if you can hear a little, like, faint clicking sound. I think it has something to do with one of my lights. I'm not quite sure what. But we're going to continue. our second one with the eyes closed and also our second the different 
sounds that you get from each of these based on their shape and the cavity inside. Just one more and then some miscellaneous stuff. anything special here. Just regular old cheap eggs. In this bag, this is things that I bought overseas. I bought them in Poland, the country of Poland, um, when I lived there several years ago. Butterflies. And then in here, there's a few of them. I'll get out one of each color.
are so lightweight. They're little ornaments. You can see there's little slices, so it's paper that is cut and glued on to size. And they've got the little ribbon. So it'd be cute if I had a little mini tree, which I do in my Christmas stuff. Gonna hang those. So we've got uh, the basic colors. And um, they can also just go like in a little bowl. Or like I said, on top of the little, you know, bow baskets. Well, here is a final show of these guys. Of course, they're not really meant to be on their backs like this. But you can kind of get a good picture of the fun array. The fun variety. And last, but certainly not least, I actually didn't have this with my Easter decorations because this is just one of the pictures that I have out at all times. I, it has a home on my bookshelf, but I think it's a beautiful one. Again, going back to the shepherd. And yes, Easter can be fun. You get your jelly beans and your dying Easter eggs. And I think it's all fun to think of the bright, silly things. But for me, it is also extremely important to remember why we celebrate, and that is our Savior, Jesus Christ. I don't actually have any crosses in my home, because this is how I celebrate Him. I celebrate Him as one who overcame death, and who leads us, and guides us, and cares for us. So, on that note, I want to thank you so much for joining me here, and I would love for you to check out my other Easter videos. Um, if you're interested in some other more spiritual things, um, I, I've done some hymns, which I really would love to get back into. So many ideas, so little time. But again, thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you around soon. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Easter. <laughs>